What is up you guys and welcome back to another one of my DIY videos. So for this video, I decided that I was going to make all my dreams come true, well at least one of them. I've always wanted an area that was like my go-to area where I felt like, okay, I'm going into bed, I want to relax, and most of the time my comfort thing is tea. I know there's a lot of people out there that probably love drinking tea as much as I do. And I live in a two-story home, but I don't want to go downstairs. Like I'm so comfortable. So I decided that I was going to have a section where I can have my nice little tea to pour and then also a little area for me to be able to put my laundry because God knows I cannot stand the look of laundry. So I created this space in mind for those two ideas. So it's basically killing two birds with one stone. And all of these items were items that I purchased very inexpensively. Um, some items were from the Goodwill, other items were from the Dollar Tree, and then other items that I purchased on OfferUp, Walmart, and I believe the 99 cent store. I was a little bit in between whether I wanted to paint the bottom half white and then just leave the top part as its natural wood color. And I sort of fell in love with the way the furniture piece looked. So I decided to just keep it that way. But leave me a comment down below if you feel like I should probably still paint the bottom. This for me was like a total like, whoa, like I'm actually going to leave it that color. But of course, I love white. So don't be surprised if I come up with an update and it's either all white or at least the bottom portion of it is white. But like I said, leave me a comment down below if you feel that maybe I should still stick with the way the natural wood color of it is, or if I should just, just decide to paint it to match everything else in my home. And now before we get started, you guys, please make sure that you do subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to ring that notification bell. And then also don't forget to smash that like button. And if you really, really love and enjoy this video, then please make sure that you give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Super stoked about knowing that all the items were super inexpensive. So I didn't really spend a whole bunch, which is pretty awesome. The most expensive thing was maybe my tea kettle. I still feel like I got it at a good price because the one that I originally wanted was $150 and that's too much for me. So I just decided to find whatever was the closest to it that resembled it. And this one fit perfectly. I love it. It's white. It's gorgeous. Love it. If you guys are interested on the tea kettle that I purchased, I will go ahead and leave that in the link down below for you guys. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this very short video on my tea bar slash laundry space. So this little box I purchased at the Goodwill and it was $3.49 in which I had one in my shopping cart on Amazon that was, I believe it was $25 and I'll put it right up there so you guys can see the comparison. And all I decided to do was just gut it, paint it, and just hot glue a couple pieces in there in order for me to have my tea box, which costed way less than the one that I was originally gonna purchase. But if you guys are interested in something that's similar to this, then I will go ahead and leave something in my description box. And just so you guys know, I will try to find something that is not so expensive, but it won't be $3.49. So I suggest you guys go to your local Goodwills or your thrift stores in order for you to find something that you can easily remake that really won't cost you so much.
And for anybody that is interested, that was actually foam board that I used to use as a divider. And all I did was to use a little bit of hot glue. And here's a way for you guys to save some money instead of tossing out your cans. Save a couple of them because all you need is different colored twine in which here I have the natural twine and then I also have the cotton twine. And all you do is just add a little bit of hot glue and you keep wrap wrapping it around and that way you can use that as a little pot, maybe pencil holder or anything that you choose to use it for. And this little succulent I picked up at the Dollar Tree. So here is the space in which I felt like it lacked character. That chair was only for looks because we never sat in it. And it was an area that we would always ignore so I never dusted. And it was just so boring looking. There was only two frames and a portrait on there. So this I purchased for $30 on OfferUp. This was from the Goodwill along with this little basket. And these I purchased at the Dollar Tree, the little pumpkins. And then these planners I bought at the 99 cent store in which I spray painted white. And then these baskets I got at Ross in which I was obsessed over these. So here is my beautiful gooseneck teapot that I will leave in my description box, but I'm not gonna lie you guys, this one was a little bit expensive. And I will also link one that is way cheaper than this one. And I swear I did wash those teacups before I used them, in which I've used every night since I've created this space. I love it, it brings me so much calmness and I hope it inspires so many of you to create one of your own. It really is a cherry on top on what sometimes can be a very long and stressful day and this is a perfect way to unwind. So beautiful, I love it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it inspires some of you guys to create a space that just creates calmness in your life because we all know as you start adulting things get real so this is something that really has helped me out and like I mentioned before I will go ahead and link my tea kettle if you guys really like it in my description box I will try to find similar items that I can link for you guys to be able to purchase but just know that it's so much easier if you guys try the app offer up or if you guys go to your local thrift store to find things like this some of them may need a little bit of TLC and a little bit of elbow grease in which if you have the time then go for it go for it because you will save so much more money but if not like I said I will find something to link on there for you guys if you guys are interested thank you so much for the love and the support and I will see you guys on my next DIY